Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I planned for this to be top tier makeup, like my favorite top of the top. It kind of became a therapy session. The vlogging is now trickling into my beauty content. So let me know how you feel about that. Do we like that? Or do you just come here to watch my makeup videos? Do we like them separate? I wanna know what the people want. I will go into professional mode like that. I'm very good at tuning out my feelings and just talking about things that I love, like makeup. You've been so far away this whole time. I do apologize. But I've also filmed this intro 18 times because I just feel some type of way. I'm a little, I'm a little embarrassed and shy after filming this video and I'm a little anxious for you to watch it. This is the Chit Chat Get Ready With Me where I talk about how I'm feeling right now being someone that is definitely grieving. I lost my dad in January if you're new here. Hey, hi, welcome. That's like the highlighted news right there for you. Served on a platter. And it's definitely affected me, who I am, my feelings on life. It's hard grieving and it oftentimes feels lonely. Lonely, and I feel less lonely when I talk to you and also the power of makeup feeling somewhat like myself like I look somewhat human was very healing for me today and it really helps for me to open up because I feel like I've been holding a lot deep inside I need to exercise whatever is inside of me and I'm so sorry that I did it to you now let's go ahead and hop into the video I hope you're all doing well I am in the wise words of Dorinda. I'll tell you how I'm doing. Not well, bitch. We're gonna get into it. I'm literally getting ready to just go on a two hour walk because my mental health needs it. My cat has had a little bit of an issue. He was diagnosed with severe constipation. He had to get a lovely little procedure done twice. And so he is just leaking out of his bum all over me, all over the house and I've just, I've had enough. This is gonna be a fun video. Let's dive into it. I've been going in with my concealer first. This is the Forever Skin Corrector by Dior. I'm in the shade 1N. Apply this to the sections of my face that I like to highlight, that I need a little bit of coverage because I'm red. This concealer blends really well with a brush, but I just think it blends so much better with a sponge. So this is an RSLE sponge that I dampened. I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp this concealer into my skin. Do we think I need to bring you in a little closer? Probably. And I hope the focus is better in this video because in recent videos, I don't know what's going on with my camera. Like, I don't know if I need a new one, but I've been playing around with the settings and no matter what I do, sometimes it just doesn't focus on me. There's also a shit ton of clutter behind me. So like, would we be shocked or should I be shocked? I should say. I've been wearing a lot less makeup in recent years. And I find that as I've gotten older and my skin is changing a bit, it's more flattering. Less is definitely more. I feel like as you age, because the the more product you have on your face, the more it, like texture, fine lines, like that kind of stuff that it shows. I like this. I don't know. It gets very mixed reviews, but I'm a big fan. Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation. I'm still using it until I run out of it. And I'm the shade four neutral. I'm going to put this on the back of my hand and it is kind of like a moussey foundation. I'm going to let it sit for a minute or two just to like melt down, kind of thin out. And the thinner a foundation is, the more forgiving it is. Same kind of thing with the texture, the fine lines. If you buy a thinner foundation, that's great. But if you own a foundation that's not too thin, you can always just leave it on the back of your hand, let the warmth of your skin warm it up, like I just told you that I'm doing. Or you can always add a little bit of facial oil, a little bit of oil that kind of stuff. I feel like this brush looks really nice. Again, I don't follow rules. I break the rules, especially when it comes to makeup. This is the Unstoppable Powder Brush, again, by It Cosmetics. And I'm gonna pick up the foundation and kind of just like lift it and then like work it into the brush. I don't like a lot of foundation on my face. By picking it up and then working it into the brushes, you don't have to spend as much time blending because it's already like half blended in the brush. So let's talk. I am just like at my wits end. I feel like I'm at the point in my life where I need things to go well because I'm just handling too much on a daily basis. Like with my dad passing away, I feel like that is just constantly on my mind and it is especially more so on my mind today. It's my parents' anniversary and my heart just hurts. I don't even know how many years my parents were married. My mom is in her early 60s and they've been together since they were teenagers. So you do the math. Math is hard. This is like the first anniversary that my dad's not here for and I just can't imagine how my mom feels. And I sit here and I think about how my mom is feeling and it makes me really sad. But the fact that like Brogan has been sick, I'm grateful, okay, that that's all that it was. Don't get me wrong. I spent a shit ton of money. 
no pun intended. So that was not fun, but I am just thankful that he's okay. I'm thankful that he's feeling better. I'm not so thankful that he's shitting everywhere and all over me. I've done five loads of laundry. Three of them I did today because I'm to the point where I have to give him medicine. And when I give him medicine, I hold him down. If you have a cat, you know how miserable it is to give them anything that they don't want. I was holding him between my legs and you can only imagine like, what, how it, yeah, it got all over me, all over my robe, all over my pajamas. Then I came up here, put out my outfit that I was gonna wear for today. I sat it on my chair that I'm sitting in right now and I stupidly forgot to close my bedroom door and then voila, what happened? I came upstairs and I saw my little pussy cat sitting on my chair, sitting on my clothes and his little bum leaked all over my clothes. So yeah, the jeans that I wanted to wear today are currently in the wash. There are way worse things in life, I get it, but I just feel like everyone can only handle so much. And I'm at the point where I can't really handle much anymore. What a time, what a time. Patrick Ta, she's sculpted. I'm gonna use the cream contour up here and to apply it, this is my favorite brush my favorite brush to apply this with. This is the Real Techniques R200 Expert Base Brush. I pick it up and then I'm just gonna lightly sculpt the face. I love this. I think I got my aunt to buy it, but it has a cream contour up top, powder bronzer on the bottom. It's just amazing because it's a two in one kind of situation. You put the cream contour down and then you can kind of like set it with that bronzer powder. It's kind of like foolproof. I just feel like it goes on so naturally and it doesn't pack too much pigment. It's not like, you know, you throw a little bit on and it's like, whoa, I have to like spend the next 20 minutes blending. It's just so natural and so good. Good, and I can't say enough good things about it. Look at how beautiful that is. It's so beautiful. And then I like to take a little bit and like go like this. See how that shadow kind of creates a lift to the eye. And then I'll take what's ever left over and put it in the crease of my eye to give a little bit of definition. Little subtle, subtle things. Like I said, I'm getting ready to go for a two hour walk because I texted, well, my husband texted me this morning. He's so sweet. Let me wipe this off my hand though because I feel like this is gonna get all over me. He knows that I'm on the verge of a mental breakdown. So he so kindly texted me when he got to work this morning. He was like, how are you doing? And I was like, I'm not well. And to which he responded, like, you should really go for a walk. That's what I've been doing, honestly, like a healthy way because I haven't really been drinking, I have come up with healthy, ways to deal with my issues and one of them has been going for a walk and you know if it's late at night and I'm just like I need to move my body before I lose my freaking mind Mike and I did buy a treadmill so I've been walking on the treadmill but honestly like I just think going outside getting fresh air being one with nature I'll call my mom I'll call my sister when I'm walking just to like talk to someone I love it's been really really good for me I know it's really annoying but like if you're going through something I just find that like moving your body sometimes is the best thing I'm gonna use the pillow talk matte blush beauty wand. I hate the packaging, but I will say I've done a better job of locking it. I never locked my contour wand because quite frankly, I like never really realized that I hate how much comes out though. Like that's too much. That's my only gripe with this. Like this is so expensive. It might be a me problem, but like how much product comes out? The color, beautiful, stunning. Love her. I waste so much and it's expensive. Like I said, so I'm picking this up with a crown brush. Listen, they don't make this anymore. I would just normally go in with this brush, but I love this brush so much. Liquid blush, right? But the way that it goes on the skin is matte and it's the most perfect color. Plays up the natural flush that I get in my skin. And then because I always feel bad that I waste so much, I put a little bit on my nose, which I just did. And then I'll put a little bit on into the crease of my eyes just to give it sweet little, you know? sweet little something. And I end up wearing more blush than I anticipated, but honestly, it's such a natural color that you can really get away with it. It's really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go wipe this off now, but look at how much is left over. I wish it could like suck it back in. Merit Brow Pomade. I work it through my brows and this is so natural. You could honestly just use this. I do really love to pair it with the Araceli BB Brow Pencil. It has a spoolie and a pencil on the other. And I love how skinny the pencil is. It's perfect for people of all brow sizes. I do want to give you guys an update, especially if you watch my vlogs, because one of my subscribers who I talk to her all the time, she comments on all my videos. I very much adore her. She informed me that you're not supposed to put castor oil in plastic containers. The plastic ends up migrating into the oil and that's not good for you. So I'm not going to lie. I am still using my little, um, plastic mascara wand with the oil in it, but I'm almost done. 
but as soon as I'm done with it, she told me to get a darker glass container so that the oil doesn't change in the sunlight and whatnot and that the plastic doesn't break down. So I am gonna go ahead and fix that very soon and I will obviously let you guys know. But if you went ahead and bought the plastic thing that I'm using, um, I, I do apologize, but it's not good for us and so we need to remedy it. I like this brow naturally better, but I, I don't know if you can relate to this. I spend so much time perfecting this one to try to get it to look like the other one that when I'm done with my brows, this one often looks better just because I dedicated so much time to it. I've been growing my brows out using castor oil and I have to say, I've noticed such a difference. I've also been using it on my lashes too. My lashes, I don't notice as much of a difference, but the brows, I've definitely, I've definitely noticed a difference. I do miss my bushy brows because I was watching older videos and they used to be so freaking bushy. They look so youthful. Also, my dad had a big unibrow. I love my dad and I miss him and it kind of just, I'm playing up that attribute, is that the word? I don't know. I'm playing up that feature that I got from my dad because I think, you know, I miss my dad, obviously. So I'm not minding the big bushy brows and this is what they look like. And I think they look good, whatever. It is what it is. I'm gonna set the face, but I like to use a cat paw for underneath my eyes. This concealer, like hydrates the under eye beautifully. I will always be a Laura Mercier gal and I'm not a, I'm not a Charlotte Tilbury flawless finish. I'm sorry, you know, but, and I like to say it because I don't like to upset you, but I like that it annoys so many people for some reason, I'm just gonna be real. And I need my puff that I bought on Amazon. I love it, I will link everything down below. Do I wanna bake a little bit? Yeah, why not? Let's bake a wee bit. I'm doing this thing lately where I take powder and I put it right in here to help brighten up the inner corner of my eye. Can you see the difference between this eye and this eye? How this one looks a little bit more awoken? I don't need to powder my chin with this concealer and that's game changing for me. I have such dry skin on my chin, it doesn't like powder. So I'm not gonna use it. Tati Westbrook, I love her. You guys know I talk about her all the time here on my channel. She is like my internet friend, even though she doesn't know I exist. In my eyes, we're besties. I'm taking the cat paw and I'm just, again, I like to use this clean to just suck up any extra product that has moved into any of the fine lines. She said, she takes her head like this so that you're pulling the lines in your head apart. So I'm gonna do that. And then she likes to powder. I don't know, I just wanted to try it and I wanted to try it with you. I mean, that did a good job. I also took the lines out with the cat paw, but... And then I like to take a little bit of powder here to kind of just separate the blush because here, I'll show you on this side. This, I kind of brought it in too much. So by taking powder, kind of just think as powder as an eraser because it is. It just softens whatever pigmented product you've used. I really brought this one in a lot more than the other one, huh? Hourglass, I don't know what it's called, but it's the dual ended. I'm gonna go into the powder, push it into the skin, and then I like to sweep it over the skin. Stamp, so it doesn't move the product that's there, right? And then once I have a light layer, I can take a little bit more and I can just be a little bit more aggressive with it. I've really been loving this freaking eyeshadow that has the cat on it. Honestly, it looks like when Brogan was a kitten. Honestly, oh my God, that's what it looks like. I don't know why I didn't put two and two together, but I'll put the picture of Brogan that I have in my head and he looks, he literally looks exactly like this cat. My poor cat. You know, as much as I'm like enough, I'm over it. Like I'm, I am genuinely, you have no idea, like ecstatically over the moon that he's feeling better because let me tell you, I'm sorry. I will tell you as I apply, but this is the ZC. I don't know what it's called because I think it's all in Japanese on the back, but it's an eyeshadow palette. I will link it down below. I actually did buy two, but this is my favorite one. Before I hop into that, I'm gonna take this Dior palette. I don't love this as a contour palette, but I do love this. And I hate to even say it because it's so annoying. And I think that they discontinued this, so I'm not gonna talk about it very much, but I use this as eyeshadow. I'm gonna take the It Cost Cosmetics Effortless Crease Brush, shade right here. What was I saying? I am so happy that my cat is okay because some of you will get this, some of you will not get this. And I understand like I may sound like a basket case and I may sound dramatic, but when I tell you, I never realized, this is a, a recent realization, questionable that it took me so long to realize this. I've never realized how codependent 
I am on my cat. Recently got coffee with my girlfriend Natalie and we were talking and I openly said like I'm codependent on my husband. When he is around I just feel calm. Some days I'm not my best. I do have a roller coaster of emotions and I feel emotional just like talking about Michael right now. I have never felt so calm. I kind of do believe in soulmates. Like I don't think that you're created and it's like God is like oh here comes fortune and then and 25 years from now, she's gonna marry Michael. Like, I don't think it's like that, but I do think there is a soulmate in the sense that if you know who you are and you can sit there and you can name your strengths and your weaknesses and you're really self-aware. Like you can find a mate, a soul mate, works well for you and you work well for them in terms of personality. My husband and I have a really nice relationship. We just get along well. And I think it's because we balance each other out. I don't really feel like I'm like this recently because I'm just so heightened in the emotion department, but I'm normally good at going with the flow. He's a planner and I'm not a planner. I am a winger and we just compliment each other because if things don't go to plan, I feel like I'm good at pivoting. Whereas for me, like I need a little bit more structure, I think. Like I'm just like too gone with the wind. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm going into this. His presence calms me and I've never felt this way with a significant other ever. Like I've never felt so calm. I can say that maybe, you know, I wasn't with the right person in previous relationships. And I would just always feel kind of like anxious and like, you know, what mood am I gonna get today? Like what's gonna happen today? What is he gonna say to me today? Whereas I know that, you know, when I wake up in the morning, not every day is amazing. Like we're all, I have bad days where I'm in a bad mood, but like my husband and I always get along. There's such a, calmness to that when I'm having a day and I'm just like, oh my God, my skin is crawling like today. I'm looking forward to him coming home because it just calms me, him being here. That's a lot of words that I just said. <laughs> Sorry. But anyway, with my cat, I feel like my cat and I are trauma bonded, not to be dramatic. I'm going into this brown shade here. I'm gonna take this flat brush, the flawless all over shadow, deepen out the outer corner. My cat and I have been through a lot. That is the longest relationship I've ever had with anyone. He's my family. He has been through crazy times with me. You know someone is meant for you and is supposed to be in your life when they give you that calming sense. And when things are not okay with my cat, I become a crazy lunatic. Like I am anxiety. I am riddled with anxiety. I was a nervous mess. I was a wreck. My husband even said to me like that I was being really sensitive about the cat. And I'm gonna kind of like take it on the tip and kind of just like work it like this. I don't know. Yeah, can you see what I'm doing? I hope that you can. I adopted him in the city. I adopted him at a shelter in Midtown Manhattan. I was living with someone at the time and it was like a terrible, it became a really terrible living situation. On days that I just felt so alone, like my cat was there, it helped push me through a really dark time in my life. I moved into my aunt's apartment I honestly can't even believe I lived with her for six months. Like I, I don't wanna cry again, but I often think about that. And like, I am so grateful for the people that I am close with in my life. And I feel like I'm just not in a good emotional state and I'm trying to take the time to really focus on myself and heal. So I feel like I can't really be who I wanna be for my loved ones. I don't know if you can relate to this in grief, but I'm not the my best version right now. I'm well aware, but I need to like make that okay so that I can get to the other side. And I feel guilty that I don't spend as much time with my mom and my brother and my sister, but it's hard and it's emotional for me. I feel selfish about this. Ooh, but it hurts to go home now that my dad's not there. But I need to make more time for the people that I love. I'm just not in a space right now where my heart can handle all of that. I just feel like I am praising myself for the healing that I'm doing, but I have so much healing to go. I am just realizing how much work I have left to do. But I'm so grateful for my cat. I love him to death. My husband love him to death. All of my, my family that I'm super close with, like, hello, I'm a very lucky person. Even though sometimes I feel so unlucky. Oh my God. And I feel like your favorite makeup will get you to, to open up. I just feel so comfortable right now, which is weird. I'm taking my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. 
At the end of the day, people don't have to be there for you. People have moms and dads and family that they're not close with. I was always raised, especially by my father. My father and my grandfather, like blood is thicker than water and you make things work. And I feel like there are just people in my life that it's family, like that's what family is. You have to bend sometimes, you have to give a little more sometimes and relationships just take so much work. I'm taking this as easy and I'm taking this shade and I'm gonna shut up, I promise. As you get older, you learn to appreciate your parents for who they are. I wish I had more time with my dad. I wish I spent more time with my dad. I wish that I could take that time back and not waste it. Sorry, my dad, my battery died. Oh my God, my battery died. But like, same, same. DC, it has a little kitty cat in it. I love cats. I love my cat. Anyway, just, you know, reminding you of what we we're talking about. But also, I can't talk about that anymore. I don't want this to be like a total therapy session. I mean, I kind of do, but also, like, maybe you don't want to hear about it. Let me know. What do we think about these things? I'm gonna take a little bit of powder right here. We're gonna... Love this eyeliner by Honeybee Gardens. Belgian chocolate is my favorite. It's amazing. It's just a coal liner. I want to get it in between the lashes too. Just to kind of like make the outer edge of the eye darker. Can you see that? Wow, this video is a lot of therapy and a lot of makeup. Honestly, this, these are all the things that make me happy though. I just need my cat to come up here. But I honestly don't want him up here because his tushy is leaking. So... Okay, it doesn't need to be perfect. I've been using this brush that I love since I tried it. Cosmetics, the Bent Liner Skin Deep Palette. And I gotta say, like every NARS palette that I bought eyeshadow palettes. I've had face palettes, I don't use them as much. I love me a NARS eyeshadow. This is their Skin Deep. I'm gonna take this dark brown here on this Bent brush. Kind of just like pulling it out. You look at a palette like this, what day of life would you not be willing to use this? It's great for every night. It's great for every day. Good neutral palettes. And I have owned my share of crazy palettes. And I'm not that person either that will buy the newest, latest, and greatest eyeshadow. I know I'm not gonna use them. I am a basic bitch. Honestly, a lot of days I don't even use eyeshadow. I just always say, if you're looking for an eyeshadow palette, don't believe the hype and don't get crazed. Even foundations too and blushes. Like so much shit comes out all the time. You just gotta find what's good for you and stick with it. And that's why I might not be so great at doing this whole beauty thing because I don't talk about new products all the time. I just talk about the things that I love and what works. And my God, this brush is so good. Let's curl the lashes. You guys know the drill. Tweezer Man Eyelash Curler. Of course my battery is dying. I hope I charge my other battery because this is gonna be like a three hour long video. Tweezer Man Eyelash Curlers. I love my Lancome Lash Adol more, but I need to open a new one and I just wanna finish this one. This one I do like. It's a really good drugstore. Maybelline Sky High. It's pretty good. I just, I do like my Lancome Lash Adol better. And I'm gonna apply this to the top and bottom lashes. Okay, thankfully I thought ahead and I charged my charger. I love this Milani sharpener. Up and down tan. I feel like this had a moment and now no one's talking about it anymore. I don't line this portion of my lips. I don't line this here. It brings attention to it and it kind of makes my mouth look longer and like droopier. I just feel like this is a very youthful way to line your lips. This is a good one. Rune Pal by Laura Mercier. This color is so pretty. Lip Collagen Bath. All right guys, this is the finished makeup look. My hair is driving me nuts. I feel like I'm trying to make it too perfect and it's driving me crazy. Anyway, if you made it to the end of this video, I just want to say thank you and did not mean for this to be such a therapy session. We kind of just landed in it and I just went with it. I've always loved beauty and makeup and it's just something that I enjoy spending my time doing. Sitting down and doing my makeup is so therapeutic. So let me know down below in the comments. What do we think about this makeup look? Make sure you subscribe. I promise it's not always a therapy session, although most of the time it is. I love you guys so much. Thank you for subscribing and I genuinely hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.